Praise be to the Lord. Hallelujah. What a joy it is to meet you all through this online service. We are here to lift up the name of the Lord. Amen. The true God, the one true God who is worthy of our praises and worship. Amen. Can we all just bow our heads and look to the Lord in prayer. Father Lord, we thank you for this day. What a joy, Lord, it is to worship you. And Lord, that this morning you have given us the strength and the breath to praise you, Lord. Yes, Father, we are here as long as we live. We say that we will keep praising you, Father. Yes, Master. Lord, and as we lift your name on high, Lord, I pray that your heavenly presence will come down and fill all of our hearts, Lord. And Holy Spirit, I pray that in your presence, you will renew us and you will transform us, O oh Father. Holy Spirit, we give everything into your precious hands and take control and take the glory through us, O oh Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Bible says, Whom have I in heaven but you? And earth has nothing that I desire besides you. How many of you can say like this, like the psalmist? Lord, whom have I in heaven but you? And in earth, I desire nothing but you, Lord. Everything else that I'm blessed with is to just worship you. But Lord, my desire, my hunger is after you. Let it be the prayer and the wish and the desire this morning. Amen. And Bible says, my flesh and my heart may fail. But God is the strength of my heart and my portion forever. Even if everything fails us, God will be our strength and He will be our portion. Lord, it is good to be near God and I have made the sovereign Lord my refuge. I will tell of all your deeds. Amen. Are you ready to do that? Let us take God as our refuge and tell of His wonderful deeds through our praise and worship. Please put your hands with me and join in singing this song. God is the strength of my heart. is the strength of my heart and my portion forever. God is the strength of my heart. God is the strength of my heart. God is the strength of my heart and my portion forever. Forever. But you, there is nothing on earth I desire beside you. My heart and my strength, many times they fail. But there is one truth that always will prevail. God is the strength of my heart. God is the strength of my heart. God is the strength of my heart and my portion forever. God is the strength of my heart. Say with me. God is the strength of my heart. God is the strength of my heart and my portion forever. But you come on say with me there is nothing on earth there is nothing on earth I desire beside you oh my heart and my strength many times they fail but there is one truth 
that always will prevail. God is the strength of my heart. God is the strength of my heart. God is the strength of my heart and my portion forever. God is the strength of my heart. God is the strength of my heart. God is the strength of my heart and my portion forever. God is the strength of my heart. God is the strength of my heart. God is the strength of my heart and my portion forever. our strength amen hallelujah you know when we think about the love of God how great and how wonderful it is once upon a time we were far from our dear father we were very far because of our sins because of our disobediences but the Christ came the love of the Christ the love of the cross that brought us so close to God that today we have the privilege to call him above father amen how beautiful is this love amen this unfailing love that we are enjoying the never giving up love the forgiving love that we are enjoying you know what did we do to enjoy these privileges and benefits it is the love of Jesus it is through the sacrifice that he made can we lift up the love of Jesus can we say Lord thank you for the cross Lord thank you for everything that you did in my life Lord Lord I cannot pay anything back for all that I'm enjoying but Lord my soul will sing to you my soul will always praise you Lord and I will lift you up with all my heart and my mind can we worship this beautiful Savior hallelujah friend brother and sister join with me in singing the beauty of Allah the wonderful things that he's done wonderful so wonderful is your unfailing love your cross is spoken mercy over me No eye has seen, no ear has heard, no heart could fully know How glorious, how beautiful you are Beautiful one, I love you, beautiful one I adore, beautiful one, my soul, my soul So powerful, your glory fills the skies. Your mighty words displayed for all to see. The beauty of your majesty awaits my heart to say. How marvelous, how wonderful you are. Lift him up. You are beautiful one. I love you, beautiful one. I adore beautiful one. My soul, my sin. You opened my eyes to your wonders and you. You've captured my heart with this love. 
Cause nothing on earth is as beautiful as you How true it is can we say You open my eyes to your wonders in you You've captured my heart with this love Cause nothing on earth is as beautiful as you Beautiful one, I love you Beautiful one, I adore Beautiful one, my soul must sing Oh, beautiful one, I love you Beautiful one, I adore Sing it, church Beautiful one, my soul will sing to you, Lord my soul, my soul, my soul, my sin. My soul, my soul, my sin. My soul, my soul, my sin. Beautiful one. Oh, my soul, my soul, my sin. My soul, my soul, my sin. My soul, my soul, my sin. Beautiful one, beautiful one, I love you, beautiful one, I adore, beautiful one, my soul, my soul. Can we all just lift our hands and sing to the Lord? Let your soul sing to the Lord. Because God knows the real worship. It's not from the mouth that you say to the Lord that I love you, Lord. But it is from the heart. God wants us to love him with all our heart, with all our mind. Can we say one more time? Oh, beautiful one, I love you. Beautiful one, I adore Beautiful one, my soul, my soul You sing it louder Beautiful one, I love you Beautiful one, I adore Beautiful one, my soul sing to you Lord with all that we are we sing to you oh Lord we say that we love you whom do we have Lord but you you are our strength and our portion Lord we can search and search but we will never find anyone like you Lord who is like you oh Lord among the gods and who is like you, majestic in holiness and awesome in, in your glorious deeds and in wonders. Even today, you are a faithful God who will lift up the countenance of your people and crown them with glory as they seek you faithfully, Lord. Lord, you are there all powerful to bring wonders in our lives. You are a holy God. You are worthy, you are powerful We fall down and we worship you We bow before you and we say that we love you We fall down and we crown you And we claim, oh Father, that our God is holy Hallelujah Holy of Holies, our Father, Jesus. We fall down, we lay our crown at the feet. See and love at 
the feet of Jesus we fall down we fall down we lay our crown at the feet of Jesus greatness mercy and love at the feet Worshipping, keep worshiping your God, the one who is holy of holies, who is majestic in his holiness, who is awesome and wondrous, who is great in love. We surrender before you, we humble ourselves before you, Lord. Lord, we do not care about anything that is around us, but we sincerely worship you, Lord. Lord, we we focus only on you this morning, Lord, and we say that we rededicate our lives in your precious hands, Lord, with everything that we are, be it our failures or be it our success, be it our needs or be it the blessings, Lord, with everything that we are, we surrender and we lay ourselves in your precious hands, Lord. Oh, can we say, Lord, I offer myself as the living sacrifice this morning and Lord I want you to be lifted high to be glorified through my life oh Jesus hallelujah Lord I offer my life to you everything I've been through Use it for your glory, Lord, I offer myself to you, lifting my praise to you, as a pleasing sacrifice, Lord, I offer you Set and see wishes and dreams that are yet to come true. All of my hopes and all of my plans, my heart and my strength are lifted to you. Everything I've been through, use it for your glory, Lord, I offer myself to you, lifting my praise to you, as 
so pleasing sacrifice Lord I offer you my love Lord I offer you my love Lord we offer our lives as a pleasing sacrifice Lord before the altar more than the songs that we sing, more than the sounds that we can give in praise, it is giving ourselves before the Lord, totally yielding to the will of God and completely allowing the plan of the Holy Spirit, the work of the Spirit to happen in our lives is the ultimate worship. If you are ready to do that, just for the last time, can you say, lift up your hands wherever you are and completely focusing on the presence of God. Lord, Lord I offer you my life. Yes, Lord. Yes, Father, Holy Spirit, we say that we love you. And Lord, we love you with our lives. Lord, we want to love you more and more, grow deeper and deeper in the relationship and grow more and more in the revelation of who you are. Lord, continue to minister to us through your word and bless your people, Lord. Lord, as they seek you, I pray that they will shine forth before all men and that others will know that you are their God. Yes, Father, hold them completely and surround them with your love and carry them through, oh, Father. We totally give you all the glory and honor. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. May the Lord speak to us. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Grace and peace to you from God the Father and our Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. We are here to celebrate the presence of God, the protection of God and the provision of God. Even in the midst of this lockdown and of this absolute uncertainty, the Lord has been faithful to each and every one of us even today i strongly believe the lord is going to speak to us once again the lord has been speaking to us through many means everyday bible devotion through the things that we see we hear in our dreams in our prayer life and in our sustained meditation and sometimes even through medias and you know daily news that we hear and even from our non-Christian friends, God speaks to us in many ways. God's ways are mysterious. If we all, you know, be sensitive to the voice of the Lord and understand the language of the Holy Ghost, you would be able to find out, you know, that God speaking to us constantly, every day, every minute, amen, and even today, Let's bow our heads and look to the Lord in a word of prayer, asking God to speak to us. Lord, we pray in Jesus' name, thy word is a lamp unto our feet, O Father, and light unto our path. Today, you direct us, you speak to us. Let thy word bring courage. Let thy word bring conviction. Let thy word give us comfort, Lord. Comfort each and everybody, O Father, today. Thank you, Lord, for you are going to speak to us. We yield ourselves completely. In Jesus Christ's most precious name we pray. Amen. My brothers just want to encourage you because he is the one who gives food to the eater and seed to the sower. But I would encourage each and every one of you to be a sower so that you, know, that you just don't receive alone but you will become a blessing. See eater will definitely get a food. Okay, but he will be a, he will not be a blessing to others. He will be blessed. 
Today I, I pray that each and every one of you not just receive the word but let this word word of God you know goes and moves out from you reaching people and community and bringing a great transformation in our locality hallelujah god bless you today my topic is be prepared for the next move i repeat today my topic is be prepared for the next move are you all excited come on lift your bible in your right hand and say with me this is god's word I am what the bible says I am I have what the bible says I have in Jesus name I can do all things the bible says today my heart is open to the word of the lord I will be blessed in Jesus name I will obey I will never be the same amen god bless you today I want every one of you to turn your bible to Genesis chapter 8 Genesis chapter 8 verses 6 following Genesis 8 verses 6 following After 40 days Noah opened a window he had made in the ark and sent out a raven and it kept flying back and forth until the water had dried up from the earth then he sent out a dove to see if the water had receded from the surface of the ground but the dove could could find nowhere to perch because there there was water over all the surface of the earth so he returned to noah in the ark he reached out his hand and took the dove and brought it back to himself in the ark he waited seven more days again and sent out the dove from the ark when the dove returned to him in the evening there in its beak was a freshly plucked olive leaf then no one knew the water had receded from the earth he waited seven more days and sent the dove out again but this time it did not return to him by the first day of the first month of noah's 601st year the water had dried up from the earth noah then removed the covering from the ark and saw that the surface of the ground was dry by the 27th day of the second month of the earth was completely dry then god said to noah come out of the ark you and your wife and your sons and their wives bring out every kind of living creature that is with you the birds the animals and all the creatures that move along the ground so they can multiply on the earth and be fruitful and increase in number on it hallelujah may the dear lord bless the red passage and the scripture my brothers my sisters as i said that be prepared for the next move of god when this devastating you know covid 19 shows up for the past 5 months we are forced to shelter inside our home, homes and houses we watched businesses we we were you know doing jobs and have schools colleges you now watching the number of uh, you know infection been raising up and then uh, deaths increase it is a kind of exile situation all you know in this period is what you do not know all you know is what you do not know we found ourselves battling and wrestling with lot of questions we have lot of questions but no answer found but it we crossed 5 months with lot of questions but we found one thing in this season out of all the questions in all the questions unanswered unanswered prayers we found one thing that one thing is God is with us and God will guide us hallelujah in this season you know how how encouraging you know it was to know like 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 the way that God said to Joshua be strong and be courageous 
he said it thrice do not let the law of the lord no leave your mouth meditate it be strong and be courageous and the, like the psalmist said that i was once young i was young once and now i am old but i have never seen righteous forsaken what a beautiful scriptures you know that really spoke and strengthened each and every one of us like isaiah the scripture says that you uh, know when god was talking to isaiah he said wherever you go that i am with you when you walk through the waters when you walk through the rivers when you walk through the fire i am with you and like paul said that greater is he who, who is in me than he who is in the world jesus said in in matthew chapter 28 that i am with you even to the very end of this world and age my brothers my sisters so you see that we found one thing that god is with us and god is guiding us and second thing we found in the season of five months plus that we found that god provides supernaturally like in the wilderness israelites were fed given satisfied by the manna manna from above amen and thirdly we 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 found that in this season we have a impenetrable shield like pillar of cloud and pillar of fire we are in the midst of it we are inside amen last week we we meditated about you know discernment in the season before you decide discern amen god be with you my brothers been world war 1 and world war 2 in 1914 to 1918 world war 1 and world war 2 1939 to 1945 see you see this two world wars irrevocably changed the entire nation bombings of hiroshima you know we know about uh, the pearl harbor you know bombing the pearl harbor and things like that you know so once we once the world experience this uh, world war and after that you see there was a change in thought process in in everything it affected everything likewise you see that this covid 19 will definitely bring a change of course we are feeling it we are seeing it we are experience the glimpse of it but i tell you that in days to come that you would experience that there would be greater greater change in the sense like we no more do the things which we did in the past we no more you know think in a way that we thought in the past so you see this covid 19 is bringing a change god is redefining our world and our life the thinking pattern the lifestyle the entertainment and the hobbies perspective in investment job education now everything etc etc but definitely permanently this pandemic covid 19 would change the world we are yet to see the changes are coming is on his way my prayer today is this that we would accept the reality and we believe that we will not fight we will not struggle or wrestle or adamant adopting the new system so god is actually you know moving in a very special way can you see it can you see my friends i am encouraging you to accept the reality and to adjust yourself to the newness that god is you know giving you it is not easy i tell you it is not easy to forget the past it is not easy to change the pattern of the system or to adopt something new which we are not aware of or comfortable of 
but let me introduce a character in the bible that who is a great example a familiar a popular person sunday school kids the beginner kids they, you know they love it and if you go to your church you see even in the sunday school hall or a room definitely the picture of that person would have been posted there we have many sunday school songs on this person none other than noah in genesis chapter 6 chapter 7 chapter 8 chapter 9 and 10 five chapter talks about the life of noah let me tell you what happened it very briefly evil was spread across the land people sinned against god people rebel against god people forsook god they they were they were engaging in all sorts of filthy things and that really pained the heart of the lord and god wanted you know he decided to wipe up the humanity and he wanted to restart again so when he was executing that he found only one person righteous there was one person who found favor in the eyes of the lord so god took that person and gave him a very big task he said noah you got to build me a ark okay so e and family and animals and birds you know god wanted to save the living creatures so you see that noah built something the world have never seen it he obeyed the lord amen and he also took two of every kind of living thing animals and birds and he filled the ark my brothers let me tell you here attention please noah was not only a builder of the ark he is also he was also the filler of the ark sometimes you know we know how to build but we do not know how to fill but you see that here building is the first stage and filling is the second stage even though it's a different you know uh, uh, study and a lesson and a preaching but as a preacher i would be tempted i am tempted right now but let me come back to the passage not to be you know redirected to some other else maybe if possible god wills that one day i will talk to you about not only a builder but also be a filler amen he builds the ark but he also knew how to fill the ark sometimes you build but inside your building inside your house there are empty spaces you do not know how to fill but noah builds the ark and he fills the ark and one particular day rain came down the water level arose rising up and it raises the ark along with noah and the living creatures you see that whoever and whatever found inside the ark was saved but other than that everything in the world died my brothers attention again you see that noah washed his world noah washed the things that he was very very familiar with noah washed his world being you know collapsed and destroyed before his eyes how everything got shattered and how everything got collapsed and how everything was dying and how every thing was you know being destroyed he was witnessing it he was seeing it he was watching it but he could not do anything can you relate yourself with noah my brothers my sister that today that you see your world you see your life you see the present world right now can you understand the trauma of that moment that noah would have gone through and experienced it was not easy for noah even though he was safe with his family but he was looking at his friends neighbors extended family 
relations relatives school master you know engineers doctors children people who who we knew very well watching everything you know dying at the time watching everything that you used watching everything that you were familiar with before your own eyes or taken away destroyed dying they all were dead and today we are put yourself in the place of noah and today what you see you see that some of even though maybe you do not have any direct you know victims maybe you are safe your families are safe thank god for it but somehow are you not disturbed come on touch your heart and tell me looking at the world looking at the looking at people looking at how many thousands and thousands of people being you know dead right before your eyes everything the structure that we've been following it you know being destroyed today the only reason that you and me are safe it's not because that we are good it's not because that you are wise it's not because that we are righteous it's not even because we are holy it's only because of his favor it's only because of god's mercy it's only because of god's grace we are alive by his grace hallelujah my brothers let me tell you that god is reshaping god is redefining the world the world that we are seeing or we are even going to see in a f- few more months tell you it is going to be a different world whether you like it or not my brothers my sister but we are going to experience a different world noah f- 600 plus years he was living in that world he was comfortable in that world for 600 plus years but that 600 plus years he lived in that world was destroyed destroyed and it was changed by the devastating flood and today our world our world is affected and infected by this pandemic covid-19 and this covid-19 is going to redefine a different world to each and every one of us come look at the industries look at the companies look at the sensex look at the share markets look at the business now look at the theaters and malls now look at the hobbies now look at the nightlife of the metropolitan city where is the nightlife now look at the you know late night parties and look at the you know big environment see people who were very comfortable with a larger crowd and big large environment but no more they are not comfortable now no more comfortable so you see from small to great everything is changing amen my brothers what happened let's come back to this passage rained for 40 days but noah was in the ark not just for 40 days even though it rained for 40 days but if you do your max properly that noah was in the ark for 370 years that means one year plus 5 days 53 weeks that noah was quarantined for more than a year i am not a prophet i am neither a son of prophet but i am just telling you you know what i studied 30 i 
அது த்ரீ செவன்டி டேஸ் தட் ஈ வாஸ் குவாரண்டைன் த இனிஷியல் ஸ்டேஜஸ் ஆஃப் த லாக்டவுன் வி ஆல் தாட் ஓகே இட் ஃபார்ட்டி டேஸ் வி வுட் பி இன்சைட் பட் நவ் வி க்ராஸ் ஃபைவ் ப்ளஸ் மந்த் ஃபைவ் மந்த்ஸ் ப்ளஸ் டேஸ் you know for for other places it's even more for china see look 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 this 370 days of no haircut 370 days of there was no medicure or the pedicure 370 days no makeup 370 days online the, you know worship 370 days not been able to walk 370 days no shopping 370 days no travel just imagine that how how terrible it would be that after see i i was just imagining that when the animals was out the animals would have looked at nova and said hey hi buddy you know nova and family would have you know be would have would have looked like an animal after all man is a social animal they would have looked like another creature or a wild beast or an animal they were inside for 370 days quarantine inside the ark and finally finally noah is coming out of the ark to a different world it wasn't the same this devastating flood ruined everything completely you know even to certain extent changed the environment the nature and the geographical you know the boundaries and the location everything so noah was living in a different world but when the ark landed at mount ararat and after this 370 days when he came out looking at the world definitely you know that would be a very very different world because he was living somewhere else he did not land up in the same place where he was living he was some you know somewhere at the corner when mount ararat was extreme many many you know miles away thousands and thousands of miles away from his own territory that he was living in my question now is in the 6th chapter we found that rain started in the 8th chapter he came out but now my question in question is how he came out what made him to take the decision how he was guided how he was guided well we read the scripture so you would definitely know the answer the answer is how did he come to know that the land was dry in 8th chapter 6 and 7 talking about that noah sending a raven and in 8th chapter 7 and 7 to 12 talking about noah sending a dove so let me talk about this first raven and dove see noah sent raven and dove to find out whether the water receded whether the land is dry whether the rain stopped so you see that raven and dove are noah's invention the rain and dove was noah's own way of finding it was man's intellect there is nothing wrong in using your brain using your experience using your knowledge and wisdom so you see that raven and dow is is practical wisdom of finding out how to behave what to do what is happening around us there is nothing wrong in that having a scientific experiment approaching it in a different way trying to find out a solution let me tell you my friends 
do not be super spiritual you can use your brain that's why god has given you and me brain even in this particular days let me encourage you be like noah try to find solution i know that we all been you know in crisis we are facing crisis that is you know recession in our job and people are losing job people are losing businesses many many major companies are no more you see that the way that we invest that money investments family job children money schools methods strategies come on we cannot go back i don't know whether that will be applicable right now or after this pandemic you know ends out we do not know so i encouraging you god has given each and every one of us the brain and the neurons you know capacity it is said that we use only 10% of percentage of brain only and even the 10 to 15 percentage of the brain you know was the maximum use of the, from the human side and the person who use it to 10 to 15 percentage were scientists what about us i don't know whether it's true or a myth but let me tell you my friends use your wisdom be wise how to earn money how to you know take care of my family what you are going to do for your children what you are going to do for your future how you are going to you know finish your loan see they have given permission for 3 months right but now the 3 months are over how you are going to pay your rent come on how you are going to move further how you are going to move forward get your strategy nothing wrong thinking no problem you see that when when it's interesting can i go further okay let me teach bible my friends see god used 40 different authors in writing this holy bible god did not teach them grammar god did not teach them you know the language god used their brain god used their skill even god was giving freedom to use their language skills the grammar the greek and the hebrew the aramaic right are you with me this morning so getting your own strategy planning about it you know it's something very very good and god is definitely you know he will help you in that be wise use wisdom nothing wrong so through his practical wisdom he found out the earth was dry but this is beautiful did he come out then i have a question hey you found out through your own methods by sending raven and by sending dove your practical wisdom see you 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 found out you discovered that the land was dry but why you hesitated to come out see maybe no as family members they were tired they were angry they were scratching their head and biting their nails and thinking like why what's happening with nova why he is still delaying and hesitating that's a beautiful thing that i would tell you my friends it's 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 amazing even though we all have practical wisdom it's fine but we also need to wait for god's divine guidance and counsel god's you know that the discernment to find out you know the way that god deals amen discernment divinely you know guided 
even though practically he knew everything but he was waiting let's go further let's go further exploring and discovering from the scripture my brothers you see that that's amazing so probably you find out through your own investigation and doing research it's fine but humble yourself before the lord and get a confirmation from god and allow god to do hello you know god wait upon god's counsel wonder that's fine but you also need to inquire with the lord david knew very well whether to go after the amalekites to fight in new everything the strategy but he was waiting he was not in rash you know he was not rushing he was waiting deliberately you see that when he sent raven the raven does not come back rain has stopped water is receded when no one knows that water is receding and the rain has stopped even though the raven and the dove is a sign of telling them telling noah that the land is becoming dry he looked at the raven first he sent the raven out and the raven did not come back so you knew very well that the raven is not coming back well, that means the land is getting dried up but why he sent a dove why he sent a dove if already he got the confirmation by looking at the raven for the raven was not coming back so he got some idea he got the message but why he was sending the dove my brothers there is a difference between raven and dove raven is a scavenger bird it can land anywhere it can eat anything it can prey on the dead particles and the decaying you know bodies it can eat anything it can survive anywhere it can go anywhere but you look at the dove dove is wise dove is different from raven dove does not eat anything it cannot live anywhere it cannot land on dead particles or meat decomposed raven can go wherever you know it can any time but the dove will go only when she should you see the difference my brothers my sister let me encourage you right now let me talk to you right now i know that god is specifically you know specifically talking to few of us this moment let me tell you my friends do not act like a raven in this season do not act like a raven i mean walking out of the fellowship raven is a scavenger bird it can land on a dead particles or a dead you know meat decomposing it can eat anything and go anywhere and land anywhere and live anywhere but do not be like a raven walking out from god's coverage walking out from god's protection walking out from fellowship as long as you are inside yak you are protected you are a changed person right now let me tell you my friends and in the lockdown we have learned so many things it was like inside living inside the yak inside your family inside godly home god has been teaching us many things but once this gets over do not act like a raven don't go back to your previous ways the raven before it was captured by noah it was living that kind of lifestyle but for 40 days and after this 370 days exactly 370 days you know got changed but the nature was still there so when when he when 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 he comes in contact with the dead and decomposing started to pray on it 
we are inside our homes disciplined you know how to control your feelings control your eyes control your flesh because you are inside disciplined there was no you know opportunity to go out and live the way that once we lived you are inside you are changed now but once this gets over do not act like a raven don't be a, like a scavenger bag bird do not be conformed to the pattern and the image of worldliness do not live according to the pattern of the world and conform to the image of godlessness let us not be scavenger hallelujah god speaks after noah's practical wisdom that's amazing god was watching this fellow hey you are using your wisdom da pa super you sent raven and you said dow you found out ah super wonderful but noah did not come out so you see that what what is the lesson that we are learning learning from this story is that trusting god above your instincts your knowledge and your experience your practical wisdom your strategy you know trusting god above it above your wisdom even though you are no for sure but still you want to give god his place so what happened after he sent raven and dow and got the confirmation that the land was dry because it's it came out dow came out with the news you know having a fresh leaf of the olive so he knew everything but he was there again for 70 days inside the ark after the ravens and dow's confirmation noah was still found to be inside the ark because he was waiting for god to say come out noah it was god who put him inside the ark and it was god he knew very well it is god who told me to get inside and i know my god will say faithful god he would say come out noah and he was waiting for that he was giving god the glory so he was not rushing so why 70 days god wants you to relax to rest be patient the land is dry do not do anything you know in haste rushing wait ma you wait because god knew very well because what human can do you know in rushness in haste in quickness so god wanted him to relax noah relax 300 days he was there 70 more days sit there he was waiting for god to tell him come out come out shall we close our eyes and look to the lord my brothers my sisters even today god is you know reshaping redefining our world can you see it like noah it's not easy like noah you went through that the trauma of that moment like looking at his world being collapsed and today you look at the world the markets the prices companies job and future the economy of our state and nation it's not easy but today we are alive it's because of god's grace amen thank you lord my brothers my sister there is a new world out there there is a new world but be prepared for the next new oh the normal is yet to find yet to come i believe what we faced previously wasn't normal actually what we are going to face is going to be our normal if you trust the lord if you believe that you are not alone in this god is with us not just in the wilderness not just in the exile but even after this devastating flood and the pandemic coped 
God is still with us. El Shaddai God is always with us. Amen. Let us not be like a raven but like a dove. Let us be like Noah. Thank you Jesus for speaking to each and every one of us. I pray for each and everybody who is watching this Lord. Lord touch them Lord. Lord help them Lord to get ready for the next phase. Prepare them Lord for the next phase. Thank you Lord for saving us even in this pandemic covid in this exile situation. And we know that we are not going to end here. And we know this is not final. This is not last Lord. This is not the end oh Lord. and there is going to be a new beginning of father and lord we know that but your plans are higher than our plans we give you all the glory and the honor bless each and everybody the great and the small in jesus name i pray amen and amen may the love of our lord jesus christ the grace of our father the sweet communion of the holy ghost abide with us forever forever bless the lord o my soul and all my inmost being bless his holy name praise the lord o my soul and do not forget his benefits amen amen god bless you be prepared for the next phase